Hello, this is Gary Schnitke, and this is a five-minute Farm Doc Daily dealing with 2021 crop insurance premium, and they are going to be higher than they were in 2020. Part of the reason why crop insurance premiums are going to be higher is because of higher projected prices, or at this point, what we expect to be at higher expected prices, projected prices. We aren't through the month of February, which will determine those prices, but when we recorded this video, the projected price would have been 447. That is higher than last year when it was 388, the projected price, and four dollars a year before that. This 447 price would exceed any projected price going back to 2014. That will increase our guarantees, and if we have a 200 bushel APH yield trend adjusted, we will have a $715 guarantee if we chose an 80% coverage level, which will be almost or about $90 higher than last year. It will also increase insurance premium. We will all, we're also likely to see higher volatilities this year. First couple days of February, the volatilities were average 0.24. That compares to 0.15 last year and 0.15 for the last three years. As you can again see, 0.24 is much higher than anything going back to 2011. Higher volatilities will significantly increase the cost of insurance this year. To give you a feel, we ran the crop insurance decision tool and we're showing here RP premiums at the enterprise level uh, for a case in McLean County. And we did that with a 388 price and a 0.15 volatility, which was what it was last year. 85% coverage level had a $12.70 premium. If we use a 447 projected price and a 0.24 volatility, we're looking at a $24 premium. As you can see, that's $11.35 higher. Overall, you can ex about expect a doubling of premiums from this year to last year. And a lot, the 80% of that is due to that higher volatility. We don't know whether that volatility will be 0.24 yet, but at this point in time, you can expect it to be higher. That volatility is based on the, the volatilities in the last part of the month, so we aren't even setting that yet, but it does appear to be higher. That's also going to raise SCO and ECO premiums as well. Here for our McLean County case, an SCO premium from 85 to 86% would cost $1.39. Our ECO 90%, which will provide county coverage from 90% down to the 86%, will be 1090, given those parameters. And our ECO 95%, from which will give projection from 95% down to 86%, would cost $28.93. That obviously is going to make the decision to, uh, change, to add SCO and ECO more costly. One of the things that I would suggest you consider is this, that if you have a choice between ECO and SCO, I would suggest starting first with the ECO. And here I gave an example of a $10.90 premium from 90 to 86%. Then if you were looking at a 70% RP, you could buy SCO from 86% to 70 Again, if you were choosing between those two, you might think about choosing the 1090 first. We have our crop insurance decision tool where you can look at those premiums for RP and all other federally regulated uh, 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 crop insurance products. And we give the SCO and ECO uh, combinations that are available. Here in this example, we have a $24.05 premium for RP 85%. There are a number of other alternatives that would get roughly in that 2405 area. One would be RP80 and an SCO at 1830. You could also do something like a RP plus an ECO 90% and get at a total ECO and RP premium at $22.50. 
This crop insurance decision tool is available for download. It is linked to in this description, and you will also find links to information about ECO, SCO, and making these crop insurance decisions.